Hello everybody, this is Crozza JC here, back with another Tunnel Town sort of video here. Today I'm going to be showing you all not how to get a certain bunny as I usually have been doing, but I'm going to be showing you how to get these things, how to get gems. Now, the best ways to get gems, you can spend money. I don't recommend spending money after you see this video. I will show you why. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, everybody. So the best ways to make gems. I've been playing this game for a very long time. So the best ways that you could possibly make gems in this game is by selling bunnies. Now, I know you guys probably don't want to sell your best bunny and, you know, that's all right. But what's the harm in possibly breeding more? So it is a little bit of time investment. You have to, especially if you're going for more money, but the best way to make gems or money in this game is by selling a bunny. So as you can see, the luck bunny right here, if I sold it, it'd be 24,000 gems into my account. 24,000 and I could literally go to here and spend five bucks for more than that. That's terrible. $5 is terrible when you can just sell them. But anyway, you must be wondering, oh, well, I don't really want to sell my luck bunny because it's probably one of the best bunnies you have. So now I'm going to go tell you guys the best bunnies to use when it comes to selling. Okay, everybody. So the best bunny, if you want to make gems, is you probably already knew this, but it's the albino bunny or the albino bunny. This is probably one of the hardest bunnies in the game to get. Uh, if you guys want to know how to get it, I do have a video on my channel. I will be making an updated guide soon though, so don't be too worried about that. But this bunny does sell for 50,000 gems. So let's say you bred six of these albino bunnies, albino bunnies, that would be 300,000 gems, just like that if you sold all of them and kept your original one. And you must be wondering how, how can you get so many of them? They're so rare to breed. Well, guys, the hard part is once you get two, you breed them together and you've got instantly about a 30% chance of getting another one. So it's not it's not ideally the best way, but if you want to make the most amount of money, this is your safest bet. And it is, it's pretty difficult. Okay, so the next one that we're going to be showcasing is the Angler Bunny. So the Angler Bunny actually does... I believe sell at 50,000 as well. So yes, I've just checked. The Angler Bunny also does sell for 50,000. So if you guys are having trouble getting albino bunnies, then I recommend going the Angler Bunny as it is significantly, I wouldn't say easier, but depending on what sort of bunnies you have, if you have a lot of ocean bunnies in your account or you have the right bunnies to be getting the albino bunny, then I recommend going the Angler Bunny. So I'll leave a tutorial, I'll leave a link to the tutorial of getting this bunny as well in the description, as well as the albino bunny. But anyway, to the next bunny. Okay, everybody, so the next bunny that you most likely want to do if you can't breed the angler or the albino bunny is the narwhal bunny. I also have a tutorial to this on my channel. This bunny does sell a little bit less though. It does sell for 45,000 gems. So if you guys are having a bit more trouble with the other two then i definitely recommend this one as your second option or your third option but uh yeah this one's very i wouldn't and once again they're not easy to breed but once you get two of them and you breed them together you have a very good chance of getting another one so and lastly guys can, can you guess we've been going in kind of an order here the last one is the toucan bunny uh, the Toucan Bunny does sell for significantly less though. The Toucan Bunny does sell for only 35000 but if you guys are really desperate for money, I would recommend going for Toucan Bunny. But honestly, I think the others are pretty similar in rarity to breed, so I would recommend going the other ones first. But if you have two Toucan Bunnies in your account and you don't have the others, I recommend going for the Toucan Bunny does sell for 35,000 so that's still a lot of gems especially if you guys are trying to complete quests by buying machines or dirt bikes whatever it is in your account i recommend doing this strategy and finally 
the last tip that I recommend is simply doing quests. So as you can see, if I bought a rowing machine and a weight bench right now, I would get 50,000 gems in return. I get 20,000 gems for a dirt bike, 50,000 for just a basketball hoop. So simply getting these sorts of decorations or activities in your den can actually get you guys a lot of, uh, of gems. So anyway guys, I'm going to, I'm gonna breed a bunch of albino bunnies and I'm gonna show you guys how many gems I get and uh, so you guys believe this actually does work. Okay everybody, so I am back. I don't know how long ago the last recording was. I haven't actually checked it, but it is a few days later. Let's just say that I have bred myself a few albino bunnies and some others. He is actually my little albino friend right here. I just made sure to keep one for the camera. Uh, yeah, so if you guys wanna know how to breed the albino bunny, the angler bunny, the, what was the other one? The narwhal bunny or the toucan bunny, I'll leave all of those tutorials down below. Uh, so yeah, basically all I did guys was I bred up a bunch of bunnies, I sold them, and next thing you know, I was, I think it was like around 50K, 20K, somewhere around there in the last recording. Now I'm up to 322K, I can buy whatever I want. It does take time, but when you when you have two albino bunnies, it, it really goes by quick. Um, you can make yourself a fortune. So if you guys found this video useful, please be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, turn that notification bell to never miss a video, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.